like to say hello to everybody on, on this very hot day in the Philippines. It's a Saturday, the 6th of uh, January. It's about 32 degrees outside here in Santa Rosa, Nueva Ecija. So it's my sixth full day into retirement and living in the Philippines. So my wife is away. She's with uh, some of her brothers and sisters. I'm home alone in this big house behind me. And I got the grill kind of set up here. Found some shade under the banana trees we have planted in the yard. And just kind of throwing together some stuff before she gets home. Barbecue some chicken for us. Don't really have everything I need, so I just made up the rest. Got some baked beans. Do some rice, of course. You know, we're in the Philippines. So, uh, we're here now, permanently. It's going pretty good. It's nice to be in this house, finally. Uh, we still got a few things to do, but I ain't gonna really worry about going into all that today. So I'm gonna fire up this grill here. And I got about 15 chicken legs and thighs marinating in the fridge, which I'm going to go get those. Well, I'll start this fire first. And do some barbecue chicken. It's what my son wants anyway. That's what he's just waiting for. So, our house is still empty. Furnishings, but here is our kitchen. Let me dark and put on a little light. So, this is our big dirty kitchen, which we're going to probably totally remodel. We made a lot of changes so far. Did a little cleaning up, a few things to get rid of. We wanna put some shelves in here. So I shouldn't be talking about the house, but I am. So it's gonna be some improvements anyway. So I need to get busy. I need to go back and do the grill. So today we ain't doing a whole lot. She's really at the cemetery visiting her parents' grave. She got a call this morning that they were taking off. It was too early for me. I was still asleep, so she just got dressed and left. We're not really on uh, anybody's time schedule. Cause what I got up at nine o'clock maybe need something and everybody here in the village usually is up moving around very early in the morning 5 30 6 o'clock but it may seem like we're sleeping late which we are but we're staying up later because about eight o'clock everything here is really quiet but we're up to 10 11 two o'clock in the morning. So it kind of seems like we're sleeping longer because that's where people are saying, wow, you guys sleep a long time in the morning. Well, one, we're retired, so we got nowhere to be. But the biggest thing is trying to get my wife on a, um, on a schedule. For me, it only took me maybe within the third day before about 9, 10 o'clock, I'm tired. But my wife still hasn't really adjusted to the jet lag and I told her she need to really try. I suggested we go for some walks in the evening. You know, she needs to be tired, but it's just not working because I told her that would become your norm. It, that also creates serious health problems, you know, because she's really tired in the daytime. So I'm a little worried about her. And she ain't sleeping anyway. Me, I'm, she look at me, I'm sitting here talking to her and passing out. I think last night we went to bed about 11. 
And before that, I would set my alarms to make me get up like latest by eight o'clock. I like to get up between 6.30 and seven. At least about right when the sun rises. Maybe it's about six o'clock in the evening, uh, in the morning here. So, well, Monday we we're headed to Manila to the tax office for the household goods coming in. Settle that paperwork. I told her afterwards, let's stop by Popeyes, pick up a bunch of chicken to go. You know, I'm from Louisiana, so see things. See what Popeyes is like here in the Philippines. So I'm gonna take a short break fire up this grill and I'll come back so we cut back in with a little update on the grill my lovely Asawa has made it back home so I managed to woo, get this thing to smoking good with the help of a little red horse so yes ma'am I'm being called by one of my there she is. It's what? The Auntie Peli. I call him radio. Radio. Here down. I don't have a radio. Here. In the dirty kitchen. Oh. Can I borrow? I don't know. How long? She want to borrow my radio. <laughs> How long? One week? Okay? <laughs> I don't know. Huh? Auntie, I don't know. Oh. You, Auntie Penny. Right, so she can use it? Use it. Alright, yeah, you can get it. Okay. That radio is really sentimental to my wife because it's from her German Tante, her German aunt, who passed away, bless her soul. She was alright. It's Kind of one of them things, got a lot of sentimental value. It's old, but it works perfect, you know, German made. So she is out watering the plants. She made sure to tell me when she came home, my plants are dying, they're thirsty. Yeah, I saw that too. But I was trying to grill. So there she is. Bye, Snigan. Giving the plants a drink of water. They're, di I know. They're dying of thirst. So, so this is the first time I've seen her watering the plants at our house. This is how the gate looks. The front. Sort of, we got multiple entrances. But notice on the gates, we have our initials. F and C. See, she put her initials first. I'm sure the audience. <laughs> yeah. Myself, sweetie. So, now I'm gonna go back and put the meat on. Just a moment, let me pause. Ooh, it's hot here. Now it's time to put the meat on, get the chicken out. Well, one thing that you have to be aware of in the Philippines, especially when you have a big family, is there could be multiple things going on and you have no idea. Like, I'm in the middle of barbecuing and it's dark in here. And we've just been invited to go to the family's farm because they have food prepared also. So it's those little things you gotta be flexible about being in the Philippines. So I got a whole bunch of chicken thighs and legs here that I'm going to go slap on the grill.
So there's just something you have to be aware of. There could be multiple events going on and you don't find out until minutes later and I know my wife would like to go but we got all that we're doing all this stuff it's not a lot of food we're just cooking something for dinner and in case the grandbabies come over and I'm being called by this one what what do you want She's always hungry. I just gave unfed you like three times today. She's really used to me. Before she wouldn't touch me. Bought a little, bought some whiskers cat food. She been tearing it up, so. Let me find a table and get this chicken on the grill. Break time. So as we move forward in time, we finally got the chicken on the grill. It is going, so the grill is very hot. So we got all 15, doesn't look like 15, but 15 legs and thighs. So close that up let it go and we will action to see how the old grill that's been here for quite a while is still working so my lovely sour back there watering the uh, her banana trees in the thorny bushes. Bougainvillea. Yeah. Bougainvillea. Thorny bushes. You could plant that as a fence by itself. That should pay your part. So anyway, it's a cloudy day. It doesn't look like it's gonna rain. Looks good. The chatterbox back there is one of our nieces. Bless her soul. <laughs> so, and our coconut, little dwarf coconut tree, doesn't look like a dwarf anymore. Before, it had coconuts and it was only like three feet high. And that was just, uh, like a year, less than a year ago. And they both have grown up pretty big. We didn't want the tall coconut trees, you know. Falls out on your head, kills you. So, that's all we got now because this place is a work in progress. And that's the update on the barbecue. The big beans are done and just simmering. I just kind of put together whatever I could find to make a meal. So with that, we'll check back in later from the barbecue pit. So we're gonna check back in on another update on the grill. Just my wife got her nephew here visiting. So we're going to see how this is going. Oh, it's looking pretty good. Just marinated, trying to stop it from cooking so fast. Made up a little marinade with some beer, of course. I'm to keep it a little juicy from drying out. So. Look, looking good on that side. Cole's trying to die out on me, but doesn't matter. I got a huge, huge bag I bought last year. So, so it's going good. Looking good. 
So that's an update from the barbecue grill and my Asawa. Right now.